Hey guys, it's the Gaming Centaur here. Welcome back to another Art Time Last video. This time I'm going to be uh, taking you through one of my most favorite pieces currently. It's another contest entry, but this time instead of just like, hey, practice and whatnot, I basically just decide go with the level that I'm at right now and try to see just how far I make it, just how far I make with this contest. So. Hope you guys enjoy. So this image right here is the last one for my sort of mermaid week because I couldn't really put it into time for a full mermaid month, basically. Not enough time for sketches, not enough time to get like the artwork that I wanted out. Just eh, planning just didn't go as well as I thought. But but now I'm here, now this is finished, and now I really like how this ended up becoming in the end. Like, I really hope that you guys really enjoy this. So like, uh, the paths I went to through and, like, sort of, like, um, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> When I was streaming this part, uh, one of the people in my stream, one of the uh, people just chatting my stream, pointed out to make sure to put on the scarf because he's already gained like um, a little complaints that like the artist who's running the contest is not happy that so many people are forgetting about the scar. I so I definitely want to put in some effort into the scar, just making it look like you know it's a scar, like the marking is there, even though like it's all sewn up and whatnot, and so. I really end up liking how that came out, even though it's incredibly simple.
So what I ended up doing with this background is I wanted to just have him laying in the water, just floating on the water, and just looking like he's having a grand old time. And with this, I decided to do a little technique that I ended up remember seeing like from a tutorial, but I don't have the original. And it's something I did in an old uh, Christmas gift for one of my friends. It's sort of just using the lasso tool over and over, making these like little shapes. It's almost like camel pattern kind of shapes, but doing it in a way that allows it to sort of have this nice ripple effect in the water. Nice, uh, you know, like when you normally see in like the water and just like how it's like these like almost like curved oval-esque shapes. Yeah, you know, like something like that. I really liked how this came out, though I will say I end up doing something kind of stupid. Um, not just the mask thing, which I found out later on, like, hey, you can probably put a mask in a folder, and then it all goes around it, and then that's, you know, that's fine. It's actually what I end up doing here. What I ended up doing is sort of uh, racing a little bit of the um, crust, as like, I call it, the like crust around the edges uh, earlier. Later on, I only found out, like, hey, maybe you can use a outer glow in order to make it look less crusty. But, honestly, right now, even though, like, yeah, you zoom up, it's, you see that crust. But I still ended up liking how it came out, even with that little bit of crust. Never thought I would say this, but the flow tool ended up helping me here so, so much. Just helping getting that, like, almost natural, almost shine, you know, the gradial shine without using a gradient tool. Just nice and smooth. I really like how that came out, and I think I'm, I'm definitely going to use that more. And I remember, actually, for the eyes, and ended up using it a little bit just to give it more detail. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting a sun on there. It's just so that, like... This is where I want the sun to be. This is where I want the uh, source of light to be in order to like make shadows make more sense. And here I'm actually adding sort of like more. Um... Oh, uh, earlier I was doing like a to make the shine in the ripples. And here I'm also I'm doing something that I ended up doing back in the uh, merge you uh, commission video. I'm co I'm coloring over the lines in order to make it feel more fitting with it rather than just black lines. 
And yeah, I really like how this ended up coming out. But similar to the Merge You picture, I decided I also wanted to add strands to the hair again. Just add strands to the hair. It was tough, honestly. It was a little tough just because of the... Uh, just because of the darkness that I was already working with, so I had to make it a little bit darker. I can see it on my screen, but I know for some people it will get lost in there. And it is tedious, but thankfully with the drawing tablet, I was able to sort of do it and make it look, in, in my opinion, somewhat presentable, but I think eh, a good way of being presentable, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. But, yeah, it especially helped with the shine and one I just uh, <laughs> like I said I want to make this as good as I can make it as good as I can remembering everything that I've done up till this point and anything recent I've done as well and I just want to tr just try my best just tr try my best with this one and yes I do think that I did really really good with this one Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, can you tell how much I actually really like this picture? <laughs> I, I know that's like an understatement, but I just, again, it's when you put everything you know t that you've known up to this point together, mainly with the coloring and whatnot, and just make it look as good as possible. As good as you possibly can. And this comes from sort of years of working away at like different pictures and I'm I'm very happy with the end result I got today. Uh yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see here, um definitely subscribe to my no, follow my Twitch, um follow my Twitter, um definitely follow my DeviantArt and if you want more videos kind of like this, please support me on Patreon. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Ever a third time. GG and see you later.